a few additional notes about Nernst equation in order to calculate the equilibrium potential for an electrochemical cell. We need to, of course, write down the half cell reactions showing the chemicals, the stoichiometric coefficients, the phases of all chemical components, what are the reactants, what and what are the products. Define the n value, which means the number of electrons that got transferred through that reaction, and make sure that the number of electrons in both half cell reactions would be the same and define the activity for all chemical components. We earlier we give some suggestions about activity. For example, if it's a pure liquid or pure solid, the activity would be one for solvent. The activity would also generally be taken as one for solute. The activity uh, for dilute condition or ideal condition would just be the value for concentration divided by the standard concentration. Uh, well, if it's not, there will be empirical data in the literature. And then with these, you can calculate electrode potential standard, E0 for standard cell potential from standard electrode potential. Or you can also calculate standard cell potential using standard Gibbs free energy of reaction, delta G zero using the relationship between delta G and uh, the electrode potential, NFE. We'll talk a little bit more later about this relationship, okay? And with all these, you can calculate the equilibrium cell potential using Nernst the equation. Sometimes Nernst the equation can be written in slightly different format. For example, like this. E Nernst uh, equilibrium cell potential would be E0 standard cell potential minus RTNF long Q. That is the original Nernst potential. But sometimes people uh, do not like natural log of reaction quotient. They want to change from natural log to the log with base of 10. And then, of course, that would be the coefficient of natural log for the number of 10. And the natural log for the number of 10 gives us 2.303. So we would have this equation. The equilibrium cell potential would be standard cell potential minus 2.303 RT divided by NF, the number of electron transfer times Faraday constant times log, the log with base of 10 for the reaction quotient. That is another way to write the Nernst equation. And if the temperature is at 25 degrees C or 298.15 Kelvin, the equilibrium cell potential will be E0 minus, if you plug the number for R, 8.312 joule per mole per Kelvin, T is 298.15 Kelvin, F is Faraday constant, 96.485 column per mole. Then you can simplify the coefficients to get E0 minus 0 0.0592 volt divided by N, the number of electrons transferred in the reaction times uh, the log Q, log of reaction quotient. These two are just uh, some additional ways to write or you will come across for Nernst equation and pay attention to them.